Oh, hi. So it's been a minute. I'm really bad at this YouTube thing so far. <laughs> but um, I just thought maybe I would uh, chime in real quick and give you guys kind of just a really honest update on my life, you know? Uh, so I'm about a week away from graduating Northwest Renewable Energy Institute. Yeah, I know, thank you, thank you. Um, it's been a, a experience, an experience for sure. Uh, anybody that's that's wanting to get into wind, I highly recommend it. It's so exciting to be on the forefront of this of, of this new career path, you know. And with everything that I know about it so far, and everyone that I've talked to that has been in it, um, the school has been really good about you know uh, introducing us to a few companies. Um, and so we've actually got to have some uh, good conversations and have some you know some questions answered that. Um, that uh, the school just wasn't really prepared for, or, you know, or maybe just couldn't. But um, overall, it's been a great experience. It's been a little hectic because of COVID. I feel like um, you know the school was really trying to figure out how to how to deal with it, just like with everyone. And so you know, any of the shortcomings that, uh, as far as the way that there, our education was rolled out to us. Um, I'm not going to complain too much. I, I've had I've had some uh, some bitch and moaning sessions about it, you know, uh, but uh, for the most part, I'm very happy with the choice that I made to come to this school. Um, it's been hard being away from my family and my kids, but if anything, I think based on the fact that I'm going to be 100% travel doing this uh, with, uh, with whichever company that I, that I end up getting with. I've got a few that I'm talking to, so that's good. Um, but uh, it's going to be 100% travel. And so I think coming here from Houston was definitely a good idea um, just to prepare me to see how I would do. And it's not easy, and but it's... And it's going to be a lot better when I'm getting paid to do it. <laughs> That's for sure. But um, I have to say that I'm overall super satisfied with uh, this direction that I've chosen for my life. You know, after going through COVID and, you know, and personal things that I, I was going through even before that. You know, uh, it all kind of came to a head and here I am and I'm changed. I'm excited. I'm renewed. And... Uh, I'm very encouraged about where where this is going to go and the and the possibilities that it's going to bring not only myself you know um, but mostly for my boys you know and my family and I think if you know if you listen to any of my videos or my little rants or whatever I'm pretty sure you know I'm, that's that's the most important thing to me is to be able to take care of the ones that I love and this career has um, or this career choice is proving to be able to do just that. Um, lots and lots of money, you know, is, is, is coming to anybody that goes down this path. I mean, but you're getting paid for your time. You know, you're getting paid for your hard work. This is not gonna be an easy job. You know, uh, there's a lot of climbing, a lot of, um, uh, a lot of being out in the middle of nowhere with people that you hardly know. And, you know, in dealing with some extreme weather, you know, um, I'm actually looking to be a, um, if everything goes the way I want it to, right off the bat, I'm looking to be a, a, a blade technician. And um, that's super exciting. Uh, the place that I'm looking at, they, uh, they do platforms, so it's not going to be rope access. Uh, but somewhere eventually down the line, I will have that. So that's a dangerous job, you know, but it's. The thing that I saw first, whenever I actually even thought about, you know, uh, going down this path, was I saw somebody dangling off a off a, off a wind turbine on the blade, and I was like, "Yes, that's what I want to do." <laughs> and uh, you know, so that was the thing that that actually sold me on. And as I got into it, I was, you know, I, I would hear someone say, "Oh, well, mechanical is actually where you have to start off. You have to get your your you know career started there get some experience before they even consider you being a blade technician but that's not necessarily true there's places that will bring you in fresh out of school uh preferably out of school uh not just off the street um but uh, preferably out of school and they will give you that opportunity 
uh, and like I said, the company that I'm talking to that I'm very, very hopeful, hopefully I hear from very soon, uh, within the next few days, because uh, the interview went as good as interviews can go, so I'm, I'm really hoping I get an offer. Um, but uh, that's, that's something that I wanted to do, and it's something that after I, I saw this company's presentation at our school, I was sold on it. It's, it's definitely where I want to get my career uh, started. You know, for anybody that's, uh, you know, on the, on the fence about, about doing this, you know, with their lives, um, let me tell you, I wish I would have found this when I was a lot younger, you know, uh, I wish I would have even had that kind of mind frame. I was, I was too concerned with, uh, making my own, you know, being an entrepreneur and, and you know what? It w I had success. I, you know, it was it was it was fun. I, I it was very fulfilling to to create something out of nothing, you know, and and go from idea to actual practical application and actually make money. And like, oh my gosh, I could. I was I was I was providing for my family, you know, uh, with something I just came out of with my head, you know, or, or from my head, and that was really cool, but. The world we live in, unfortunately, right now, um, makes it very hard for those kind of ideas to really succeed in the way that um, I think most people would want them to. Um, you know, the writing was kind of on the wall towards the end there, and I, uh, I, uh, I, I, I chose to put myself back in the system. But I didn't want to just do a normal job. I'm not a normal job kind of guy. I, uh, I wanted something that was going to be a little more exciting. Uh, running the company that I, I was, I was kind of a house plant, you know, <laughs> and uh, you know, and it just, it, it, I was in it for the money. That's that's it. I, I I really could could care less about you know taking care of windshields forever. If you didn't know, I was running a windshield repair company, but. Um, it just, I don't know, after, after the forced vacation that we all got, you know, it was, um, not something I really could wrap my head around again and continue. Um, and I'm glad because like I said, this has turned out to be probably one of the best things I've ever really put myself in a direction for. And, um, I'm very hopeful and excited about the future. And if you are on the fence about joining this industry, I'd say just do it. You know, just be prepared. You know, you are going to be away from everything that you know, love, and trust for a little while. You have to go outside your comfort zone. Um, you know, uh, it's 100% travel. That's where the money's at. They do have stationary positions, but, you know, you're not going to be making as much, especially uh, right, at, right at first. You know, uh, go out there. Learn everything you can. Get every little bit of experience that you can in every facet of these turbines. You know, that's that's kind of what I want to do. My plan initially was to start in the tur in the nacelle of the turbine, you know, and just kind of work my way out. Eventually, and eventually going to blades. That's what I was told at first was that, you know, being a blade technician was usually, you know, after a couple of years or so, they'd let you go, you know, hang your butt off a blade somewhere. But... That's there's specialized companies that do only that, and that's one of those is, is uh, where I'm. Um, that's my my hopeful. <laughs> um, so figure out what you want to do if that fits your life. I, I'll I'll be honest. I, I do not have a mechanical background. You know I know what I know. You know, but uh, you know when it comes to cars and stuff like that. I, I mean, especially nowadays, you know, it's I barely even want to touch cars because they're basically computers on wheels and whatever, you know. It just that was never really my thing. But this is very interesting, and you know, and, and more or less, uh, there's always going to be someone there that knows what they're doing. You're never going to be alone in a turbine uh, from various various reasons but especially at first whenever you're you know getting you know fresh they encourage people to to come into this industry they need them i mean amanda the, the with all the funding and all the direction of the world that's you know where all all that's going you know that, that's re, uh, renewable energy is definitely the way to go and wind is at the forefront of that 
Um, and this, so there's a lot of need coming up very soon for people that want to jump into this industry and make something of themselves, start a good career. So if you are on the fence, do it. You know, uh, just make sure that you're okay with being away from everybody. You know, 100% travel. You're usually going to be working like six weeks on, one week off, eight weeks on, two weeks off, 12 weeks, three weeks, you know. And that, that, that can change throughout the years. Everything is negotiable. Most of these companies, they understand that you're a person. And that's something I really like as well, is that, uh, you know, just ha some of the questions that we ask, like, what if something happens, you know, while, while you're on the job site? And just communicate, communication. I love that. If you've heard me give off any of my rants on this on this the channel uh, about communication, it's that's that is the most important thing to me in life is being able to communicate properly, you know, and um, and other people being able to do it back as well. So, you know, uh, because without it, I mean, we're just all lost. We're all just going to be running around in circles, you know, thinking everybody hates you or disagrees with you and chaos ensues and we all see where that goes so a little communication can go a long way a little understanding can go a long way you know so in this industry so far everyone that I've met um, that's one of the main concerns you have to be able to communicate you know regardless of your background race this that and the other whatever it doesn't matter we need to be able to talk to each other so that we can get the job done and that's all there is to it you know and um and, and safety, of course, is, is is up there as well. So, but you can't have safety if you don't have communication. So, I know I haven't really uh, posted a lot of videos on YouTube. I haven't really been, you know, taking care of this channel. Uh, I, I've had some people ask me some questions, and I'm really bad about getting back. It's also been kind of hectic with school, you know, uh, finals and uh, all of our practical exams, and trying to find a job and. You know, I'm kind of new to this YouTube thing, so I do apologize to anybody that is that has given me the time to listen to listen to my little rants and expect it maybe a little bit more. Um, as I get into the field and have more of a, uh, a, a concrete way of of uh, a, a schedule, you know, or, or a, a know where I'm going and all that, hopefully I can do a little more of this, you know, because this is a fun way for me to kind of communicate my thoughts on things and. Um, you know, and for my kids maybe to watch 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 it too and say, hey, look at my dad. Yeah. That's awesome. But, um, you know, plus, I love being able to share things like this. Look at this. This is Lucius, Lucia Falls, I think. Yeah, it's about 30 minutes from where I stay in Vancouver. Uh, it's beautiful. And this is just five minutes into the trail. Ooh. So, yeah. Being able to travel the United States, maybe go, you know, being a, like an hour or so away from places like this all over the place. That, to me, is going to be the adventure of my lifetime. And something that I will want to share with everyone, my, my boys, my family, all that. You know, so uh, stay tuned. <laughs> but um, I just wanted to let everybody know that things are going really well. I am graduating. That's great. Um, you know, this, uh, this last month has been very hectic. Um, but, but fun, you know, and... Uh, um, we're just all kind of ready to leave. <laughs> we're all just kind of ready to uh, to get get this career started, you know, and uh, start making that money. You know what I mean? But um, everything's going great. I, uh, if you haven't noticed, I changed my look just a little bit. But uh, <laughs> you know, just kind of growing up, I guess. No. Oh. Anyway, though, um, I love you all. Thanks again for your time bear with me you know uh, I might post one here and there or once every six months who, who knows I think this might be my second one this year I don't I don't even know uh, but it is something that I that I, I am gonna gravitate towards more in the future as I have more to show you know I'll uh, I'll show you guys you know uh, 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 pictures and a video if I can safely uh, once I'm actually up in the cell for the first time um, because I have yet to see one up close. That's that's been probably my my biggest disappointment. And it's a there's a little ast a COVID asterisk right next to it. They used to take kids or classes to a turbine site, and uh, you would actually get to kind of you know feel it, maybe even climb up one, 
uh, that, that I've heard some people say they used to, and some people, you know, depending on safety regulations, stuff like that. But uh, uh, they used to do that because of the world right now that that was not available for us. And so I have yet to actually see a turbine up close. Ugh! Driving me crazy. But uh, one I actually do, you better believe that I'm going to be safely taking videos and sharing my experience with the, with the world. So, um, thanks again. This has been, take it easy.